Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another ink comparison video and this is Franklin Christoph ink comparison number one. So I think with that let's go and swab up some of these inks. So the first ink we're going to look at today is Franklin Christoph Spanish Blue. And I got this in one of these sort of eyedropper bottles and um, I find that these are not the greatest. Uh, you can unscrew and use this more for art purposes, but it does have a hole in it. Uh, you can get this in regular bottles as well, uh, but uh, it was easier to actually have them shipped in these plastic bottles. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And you can see here that this is a rather lovely turquoise or cerulean blue. Just do a little bit more of a saturation over the top there. So this is Franklin. Christoph. And it's Spanish. Blue. Now, this is an ink that I fell in love with and I bought five bottles of. And this was an ink that around the time I was using Compeki and I found this ink and it was a lot cheaper. And I decided that this would be a nice replacement for it. It's not identical, but it's, it is a nice replacement. The next ink here is Franklin. Christoph Sweet Maroon. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And you can see that this is a very nice maroon colored ink. And we'll do a little bit of a second pass over the top here, just so we can show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. So this is Franklin. Christoph and it is Sweet Maroon. No, just one. But that is a really lovely maroon coloured ink there. The next thing we'll look at is in a sample that a friend sent me, uh, and this is Franklin Christoph Yerushi Red. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I would say to start with, this looks quite similar. I'm finding this is a little bit of a dry ink. This is, I guess it's going to look a little bit more terracotta. We'll just put a second pass over the top, just so we can show the difference between a wet and dry nib. So this is Franklin Christoph. And this is Yerushi Red. And we'll see how that one dries. The next ink I have here is Franklin Christoph, and this is a Midnight Emerald. So we'll do an ink swatch. We'll do a second pass, just to show the difference between a wet and a dry nib. So this is Franklin Christoph and it is Midnight Emerald. Which is a quite a lovely green ink. And then the last thing we have here today is Franklin Christoph Tenebri Purpolatum. So we'll do an ink swatch. 
And this is a dark purple. We'll do a second pass just over the top layer, just so that we can see the difference between a wet and a dry nib. So this is Franklin Christoph. And it is Tenebrae. Purpolatum. So let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So we have Franklin Christoph Spanish Blue, and you can see the difference between a wet and a dry nib here. And you can also see that there's quite a bit of shading going on. Now, there isn't really any sheen. Oh, actually, maybe there is. Just around here. It's very, very subtle. But this is a really lovely blue, and it's a blue that I do like a lot. Uh, it's very similar to Pilot Oshizuku Kompeki in a number of ways. The next ink here is Franklin Christoph Sweet Maroon. And you can see that there really isn't a lot of difference here between the, the wet and the dry. Um, there is a little bit of sort of, I guess, some shading going on, but there really isn't a lot. The writing sample does look quite nice, though, and uh, uh, this is an ink that I like writing with a lot. The next one here is Franklin Christoph Yurushi Red. Now, you can definitely see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. Uh, it comes out in the writing sample a little bit more darker. Now, that wet, dark area, I'm going to show you here. Hopefully, I can catch it on camera. But there is a lot of sheen there. And it's sort of a bronzy, goldish sheen. The next ink is Franklin Christoph Midnight Emerald. And again, you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. There is quite a bit of shading going on as well around the pooled areas. Now, there isn't any sheening going on there. And then the last ink is Franklin Christoph Tenebrae Perperatum. And again, you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. Um, there's not there. I guess there is shading going on here around the pooled areas um, Not as much though as some other inks. Uh, it's a dark purple and There isn't any sheening going on either So that's my Franklin Kristoff inks comparison number one video if you like any of these inks, let me know in the comments below. If there are any other Franklin Christoph inks, then do let me know, and I'll see if I can get hold of them to do a comparison. So that's my Franklin Christoph inks comparison number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.